Hello, and welcome to Lowell. We know that you have traveled a long way to come here. We're glad that you have made Lowell your home. To enjoy life here and to be successful, it's important that you stay strong and healthy. When you are healthy, you will be able to take care of your family. You will be able to work. You will be able to feel happy and enjoy your new life here. In the United States, there are many people and organizations that together are called the healthcare system. This video will help you to understand the most important things about the healthcare system in the United States and in Lowell. The first thing to know is that healthcare is very expensive in the United States. So most Americans use health insurance to pay for their health care. What is health insurance? Insurance means that you pay the insurance company some money each month. And then when you need health care, the insurance company pays the bill for the doctor or the hospital. Where can you get health insurance? If you are working, your employer might offer health insurance. If so, sign up for it. If you have no money or no job to pay for health insurance, you might be able to get insurance called Mass Health. If you want this insurance, you must go to the hospital or clinic and ask about it. If you do not qualify for Mass Health insurance, then you may be able to get free care from the hospital or clinic. Free care will help you with the hospital bills, but you will still have to pay the doctor's bills. Because everyone's situation is different, you must ask about health insurance for yourself and your family. The hospitals have written information and interpreters that will explain these programs to you. It's very important to know that applying for financial help for health care will not affect your immigration status. So if you need help, ask for it. After you have made arrangements for your health insurance, the next step is to find your primary care doctor. This is a doctor who will work to keep you healthy and to direct your care if you are sick. The primary care doctor is the key to health care in the United States. Choosing this doctor is one of the most important health decisions you will make. Remember that you can always choose a different primary care doctor if you are unhappy with the first one you chose. It's very important to make a connection with the doctor while you feel well. The doctor can tell you what to do to stay strong and healthy. The doctor will check you and treat you for diseases before you become very sick. Then, if you do have an illness or injury, you will be able to call the doctor and the doctor will know who you are and the paperwork will already be completed. How can you find a primary care doctor? Good places to start are the Lowell Community Health Center at 597 Merrimack Street. The Lowell Community Health Center has a special clinic for Cambodian and Laotian patients. It's the Meta Health Center at 135 Jackson Street in Lowell. Agencies that help immigrants in Lowell may have information about doctors that will accept the kind of health insurance you have. They may know of doctors who speak your language. These agencies include the International Institute, the Cambodian Mutual Assistance Association, the Latin American Health Institute, the Mass Association of Portuguese Speakers, the Lao Family Mutual Association, and the African Assistance Center. When you have the doctor's name and telephone number, ask someone who speaks English to call and make an appointment for you. Unlike some other countries, here you cannot just go to the doctor's office whenever you want to. You must make an appointment in advance to see the doctor. Be sure to arrive at the doctor's office on time for your appointment. In the United States, clock time is very important. For example, if your appointment is at 10 in the morning, the doctor will expect to see you in the office at 10 in the morning. People here are often disappointed if you are late, and you may not be able to see the doctor because it's someone else's turn. If you are going to be late, or if you cannot come on the day of your appointment, call the doctor's office to tell them and to make a new appointment. What will happen when you see the doctor? 
the doctor will ask how you are feeling, if you have any concerns about your health, and if you have had any health problems in the past. You may be surprised that the doctor might ask you about your family life, your job, your feelings, your food, any herbs or other home remedies you are taking, your habits, and any problems or concerns that are bothering you. In some countries, these questions might seem too personal or rude. But in the United States, doctors believe that asking you many questions will help them to understand you and to help you. In some countries, people expect that the doctor will know everything and will not ask them any questions. But in the United States, doctors are trained to ask many questions so that they will be able to help you in the best way. The very best doctors ask many, many questions. In the United States, patients are also expected to ask questions and to speak directly and honestly to the nurse or doctor. So, do not say that you understand something if you don't understand it. Do not say that you will do something if you know that you will not do it. In the United States, you are expected to be a partner with the doctor and nurses in your health care. People here believe that questions and direct expression of thoughts will lead to better results. Your questions are accepted as appropriate and helpful and show that you are being a good partner in your health care. So keep asking until you understand what you need to know. What happens if you or someone in your family is injured or ill? Call your primary doctor for help. This doctor will tell you what to do. If your injury or illness is life-threatening, such as severe bleeding, sudden acute pain, pain in the chest, difficulty breathing, or sudden paralysis, the doctor may tell you to call an ambulance by dialing 911 on your telephone. This call will bring medical personnel and an ambulance to you. If you cannot reach your doctor by telephone and your injury or illness is life-threatening, call 911. If someone can drive you to the hospital, your doctor may tell you to go to the hospital emergency room. Or, if you cannot reach the doctor and your injury or illness is life-threatening, go to the hospital emergency room. There are two hospitals in Lowell, Lowell General Hospital and Saints Memorial Medical Center. The emergency rooms in these hospitals are only for emergencies. That means for illness or injury that you believe are life-threatening. If you go to the emergency room and it's not an emergency, you will have to wait a long time to be seen by the doctor. You will receive only limited treatment and you will have a large bill to pay. Do go to the emergency room if you or a family member is really sick, but don't go there for anything else. For routine medical care, call your primary doctor for an appointment. Sometimes your doctor may tell you to go to the hospital, but not to the emergency room, for tests, treatment, or surgery. You will have an appointment for this care. If you don't speak English well, ask the doctor to tell the hospital that you will need an interpreter. Hospitals will provide you with an interpreter. There is no cost to you for this service. Even though you have friends or family members who speak English, it's best to use the interpreter that the hospital provides. This interpreter has received training in medical terms and will know best how to explain to you what the doctor or nurse is saying. He or she will also be able to answer your questions about the healthcare system. When you go to the hospital on the day of your appointment, be sure to come to the appointment on United States clock time. Bring your insurance card and bring with you all the medications that you have been taking. The doctor will want to see what medicines you are taking. It's important to know that in the United States you may be treated by many different people. It is believed here that no one can be an expert on every health problem, so different people are trained to do different tasks. There are nurses, technicians that can operate some of the testing equipment, people who are trained to draw a sample of your blood, and even other doctors who are specialists in certain body systems and diseases. Your primary care doctor is the person who approves all your care 
and gets reports from these people about the results of your tests or treatments. This is another reason why you need to be connected to a primary care doctor to get the best care. You will discover that the healthcare system in the United States is focused primarily on science and scientific treatments. This is a system that has treated the body as separate from the mind and spirit. Your doctor will probably not suggest any spiritual healings or other kinds of treatments that may be more familiar to you. But your doctor will want to know about any other ways you are treating yourself. And most doctors will be interested in knowing what you believe is the cause of your illness and what you believe will cure your illness. Often the meaning of health can be very different in countries around the world. Your primary care doctor will prescribe medications that you may need. This means that the doctor will write an order for the medication, which you must take to the pharmacy. There are many pharmacies in Lowell. Unlike some other countries, you cannot get certain medications from the pharmacy unless you have the note from the doctor. This is another reason why having a primary care doctor is so important. There may come a time when you or a family member is ill and your doctor recommends a stay in the hospital overnight or for several days. Hospital procedures can be confusing, so be sure to ask for an interpreter if you don't speak English well. Ask about what will happen. Ask about anything you don't understand. Tell someone about whatever is worrying you how you feel, or whatever you need to feel better. Most people in the United States have been trained to express themselves directly and expect that you will also. The hospital will ask you to sign papers that give your consent for treatment. In the United States, the hospital must have your permission to treat you. This is because here you have the right to refuse any treatment. The doctor and the hospital will suggest things that will help you but the final decision is up to you. In the United States, not even your family members can make the decision for you. Most people here put a high priority on individual rights. If you are 18 years of age or older, man or woman, you must make your own decisions. That's why important that you ask and that you understand everything the doctor is explaining to you. In addition to the right to interpreter services and the right to consent to any treatment, every patient has every other rights under United States law. You have a right to have your medical information kept confidential and used only for your treatment. You have the right to be treated with courtesy and respect without discrimination. You have a right to complain if you are not treated well. The hospital must provide you with information about your rights and responsibilities as a patient. If you need continuing medical care after your treatment at the hospital, your doctor may recommend that you go to a rehabilitation facility or nursing care center. There are several buildings in Lowell where people who need more care stay until they are well enough to go home. When you do go home, your doctor may recommend that you receive home health care. A nurse or therapist will come to your home several times to check on your condition, provide treatments, and teach you what you need to know about getting better and staying healthy. This visiting nurse will help you to understand when and how to take any medications the doctor has prescribed and how to use any equipment the doctor has recommended that you use at home. Even though there are many health services and agencies in Lowell, each one is a separate organization with its own rules and procedures. You will have to ask for free care from each one if you don't have other health insurance. You will have to ask for interpreter services at each one if you don't understand English well. Each agency will ask you to sign consent forms for permission to treat you. There are also agencies that we don't have time to describe in this video that offer services to parents of young children, to the elderly, to people with certain diseases, and to people who need extra emotional and physical support. Putting a health care plan together for yourself and family will take your time, your effort, and information to answer your questions.
contact one of the immigrant service organizations in Lowell or ask the hospital interpreter to connect you with the social services department or ask your doctor. There are many people who want to help you, so keep asking. We want you to be healthy and to stay healthy in Lowell.